Russian army rising. The church is the breeding grounds for raising godly men and women who are willing to apply kingdom principles and values to bring transformation to their respective societies. We need to have a national focus. We don't have to lose this ambition or else we work against the Great Commission. They are equipped in righteousness. Unless our righteousness exceeds those who just know ABC and suffice others to do, but they don't do unless we see that we pray for god to raise right ministers in our nations we pray for god to raise right tax collectors we pray for god to raise right security agents they are bold and fearless standing your ground when the battle has been heated to such an extent that everyone is running away and we don't quit for we know no defeat the agenda to possess the nations. Welcome to an equipping center of the word and prayer on Pentecost hour. Stay tuned in. Hallelujah. Very grateful to the Almighty God for affording me this opportunity to be here this morning. I want to take this opportunity also to thank the General Secretary for standing in for me uh, since the beginning of this Thank you very much, my brother. And I want to thank the Chieftaincy Ministry and the Permanent Leadership for a good work. Well done. May I humbly say, that we gathered you here not to teach you how to be chiefs and queens. How can I possibly teach or school Elder Nana Piman Pim Yao Kabre said the fifth how to be a chief. I don't qualify to do that. And I don't qualify to teach you how to be a king or a chief or a queen mother. But we called you here to remind you that as Christians and royals, our pursuits and priority is to advance the kingdom of God on earth. And that if you and I focus on our calling, and priority by applying the kingdom principles in our spheres we are able to possess the nations that is why we called you so we want you to go with a mindset to change your sphere with the wisdom that God gives. The topic I want to talk on this morning is give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. Originally, I had wanted to talk on the topic when you have become a king because I thought I would be starting the delivery. But because I'm closing, I've decided to take this topic, give me wisdom. See, apart from our need of God, and his word. Our greatest need as humans is wisdom. Wisdom from above. There are all kinds of wisdom. But the wisdom I intend to discuss 
is the wisdom that God gives. The wisdom from heaven. James chapter 3. Let's read from verse 13 through 18. We'll be interacting with a lot of scripture. So get your Bibles close to you and then please pay attention. So James chapter 3 from verse 13. Who is wise and understanding amongst you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in humility that comes from wisdom. But if you have a bitter envy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Now, such wisdom, and then the wisdom there is in inverted commas. So it is wisdom. And it is described as such wisdom. Does not come from heaven. But earthly. Unspiritual. Demonic. So there is some kind of wisdom. That is earthly. That is unspiritual. That is demonic. Scripture says that there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is the way of death. Why is it that the way seems so good to the man? Because it was wrapped in a, a kind of wisdom. But why is it that the end led to death? Because that wisdom... Is not from heaven. It is demonic. Verse 16. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure. Then peace loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy, and good fruit, impartial, sincere, Peacemakers who sow in peace reap in harvest of righteousness. You see, this nation is flooded with all kinds of chieftaincy disputes. Some are dead for over a decade. They have not been buried just because the kind of wisdom that is ruling is not from heaven. We need a wisdom from above in managing the affairs of life. See, our personal lives and the lives of the constituents we survey. We need wisdom. To manage our personal lives and the lives of the people we survey. But we need the consciousness that we need wisdom. To manage the world system so we can look for it. The, if the consciousness is not there, we don't look for it. But when we see that we need it, then we look for it. See, life is full of challenges. 
And as a result, we are always confronted with decision making. We need to take decisions to move on, otherwise, we will remain static. See, decisions could be simple or complex. Because challenges come. In weights. If you say, oh, how no, you will move in this war, in this war, in this war. Some are weightier. A bit more do power. The need for wisdom becomes critical. Now, here you hear your answer, and who be here, pa, when you lead people. Bra, who didn't grow for kind. The leader's decision, or can the phone dream or befano, has a ripple effect on the whole constituents. He surveys. You see, we have all been elevated to be kings, chiefs, queen mothers, chairmen, general secretaries to solve tough problems. There was a picture of a queen in a palanquin. Now, this fellow is elevated. But you see, you have been elevated to solve difficult problems. And so, Peja, ya 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 Peja, Questions. And meet on common needs. You see, Israel asks for a king. Israel asks for a king, and they did so for a reason. Israel for Ebisa or Hene. Now, what was sent to Bintia will be Sa or Hene. Now, so let's go and examine why they asked for a king and what they were looking for. Now, Yam Konyam Koshe, Bintia will be Sa or Hene, and it did not work. First Samuel chapter 8. Samuel will make the king eighteen in watch. Now, I'll read 19 and 20. Making country Chemu don't crony a dunu. But the people refused to listen to Samuel. Now, Omano and Penisa would hear Samuel. No, they said. Now, what can I say, Debbie? We want a king over us. Now, on Hinara, na only Yansu. Then we will be like all the other nations. Na Yansu and Yasa, a mamma ina. And now let's pay attention. A female man fire dream, right? With a king to lead us. Na Yanino, a mummy, omuya attain. And to go out before us and fight our. Battles. So the Israel's reason for asking for a king was to have someone who will lead them and he said, Go before them and fight their battles. When we are talking about battles, say, we are talking about conflicts or struggles. The conflict within and conflict without. The, the struggles that your natives are facing. So you are made a king. You have been made a queen to deal with your subjects conflicts say obehwe na wabde wo wo man ya wodi won kan no enta banta wadi no obehwe ayama won and your struggles and e won apidisi in addition to your own battles i can wan kasa wo ko a wo ko ho it is this huge tax na men kasa say djuma kasa e ti say mu no that drove solomon to ask god for wisdom Second Chronicles chapter one. From verse seven, please. Are we together? 
If you are here, let me see your hand. Oh, happy, yeah. So I'll read from verse 7. That night, God appeared to Solomon and said to him, Ask for whatever you want me to give you. Solomon said God you have shown great kindness to David my father and have made me king in his place now Lord God let your promise to my father David be confirmed for you have made me king over a people who are as numerous as the dust of the earth Give me wisdom and knowledge. Now, I want you to pay attention. If you can read, let's read together. Ready, go. Give me wisdom and knowledge. You see the comma? Now, what is it for? Let's read. That I may lead these people. For who is able to govern these great people of yours? So the reason for asking for wisdom and was that he would govern God's people. Now, the next verse. God said to Solomon, Since this is your heart desire, and you have not asked for wealth, possession, or honor, nor for the death of your enemies. And since you have not asked for long life, but for wisdom and knowledge to govern my people over whom I have made you king. Therefore, wisdom and knowledge I will give you. And I will also give you wealth, possessions, and honor. Such as no king who was before you ever had and none after you will have. Now, just to put it in human terms, I will say that the request of Solomon surprised God. Surprise in inverted commas. Because it is unusual. It's not the normal way. Now, sometimes somebody becomes king, and the next week, everyone who is living on the land, if you have bought the land, you have to rebuy it. If we say, and ya dear wataye, a to the beer obi beya or henia, a de chain ya wa watu as a si bea wane my munu, as I said was sign a bedia no tono for fro. They came for worth. But leadership is responsibility. Leadership is responsibility. Leadership is work. Leadership is not showmanship. So sometimes when you were king or you were queen, if you don't take care, your, your, your biggest problem will be buying buying clothes, buying the latest, weave the latest for me because it's about how you glad yourself in your king take cloth. But leadership is not showmanship. Leadership is not Power. Leadership is not worth. Leadership is not fame. It's not to make your enemies fear you. And your friends admire you. This could be privileges that leadership 
gives. But we don't dwell on that. Leadership is a responsibility. Leadership is not to pay back your enemies. You see, the very day I was elected as the chairman, somebody drew me aside and brought an apology, a plea from a pastor. And he said, because of how he has treated me in the past, but I was not put on the seat as a chairman to pay back enemies. But you see, I have been given authority. And I can pay back enemies. But the authority that I have is to build up not to destroy. My answer is Shall we rise? I want to say that leadership is responsibility. Responsibility is responsibility. That is a combination of two words, response and ability. So when you are made a king, when you are made a chief, when you are made a queen, you should have the ability to respond to difficult questions, tough problems, and uncommon needs. I said I was not put on the seat as a chairman to pay back enemies. But you see, I have been given authority. And I can pay back enemies. But the authority that I have is to build up not to destroy. Yes, Yesu ka yeho my answer is oh shall we rise and cheer ya
I want to say that leadership is responsibility. Responsibility is responsibility. That is a combination of two words, response and ability. So when you are made a king, when you are made a chief, when you are made a queen, you should have the ability to respond to difficult questions, tough problems, and uncommon needs. It's not showmanship. It's not show me how to front to my said we put on cloth. Shall we lift our hands if you can? Oh, 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 oh. mercy upon us. Yes, Give us wisdom. Oh, Give us wisdom Amen. that we will be able to lead your people. Amen. 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 Shall we please have us? Mr. Mm-hmm. S. So God responded to Solomon's request. It's when I made this Solomon a bisadian whom we by. God gave him wisdom. When I made manu nyansa and gave him what he didn't even ask for. Now the empo when we sano or the kind whom manu. First Kings chapter four. I hene uma edika ino eighty nine. I read from twenty nine. I hene uma edika ino eighty nine. Chiche mo do nun kono. First Kings four of eighty nine. I hene uma edika ino eighty nine. Chiche mo do nun kono. Now, the Bible says that God gave Solomon wisdom now, and very great insights. A breath of understanding as measureless as the sun on the seashore. Solomon's wisdom now, Solomon Yansa was greater than the wisdom of all the people of Egypt. And greater than all the wisdom of Egypt put together. He was wiser than anyone. Including Ethan. 
Ethan, the Ezra. Ezra, Hinini. Wiser than Heman. Any Heman. Kako. Any Kako. Dada. Any Dada. The sons of Mahor. Ah, we well, yeah, Mahel, Mano. See, these names that have been mentioned, Zadina, Yabuboy, they were kings. Na one ya handful. They were not priests. Na one ya sofo. They were not prophets. Na one ya defo. So this wisdom is not ecclesiastical. Some of them were singers in David's choir. But God gave them wisdom. This morning, may the Lord grant you the wisdom that we need. From all nations, people came to listen to Solomon's wisdom sent by all the kings of the world who had heard of his wisdom. Why do we need wisdom as leaders? Because wisdom is the principal thing. If you say, wisdom is the principal thing. The highest rank of all human desires, needs, is wisdom. It is the most important thing that we need. Its benefits are most desirable. Nothing you desire can be compared to wisdom. Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. Shall we read from verse 5 to 13? Get wisdom. Get understanding. Do not forget my words or turn away from them. Now look at the next verse. Do not forsake wisdom. For she will protect you. Now if you need real protection, it's not to go for an idol or a juju. Wisdom will protect you. And she will watch over you. The next verse. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. Though it costs all you have, get understanding. Cherish her. When you say her, he is talking about the wisdom, not God, because God is not referred to as her. It will be cherish him. But once you hear cherish her, then he's talking about the wisdom. And she will exhort you. Embrace her, embrace wisdom. And she will honor you. She will give you a garland of grace. A garland to grace your head and a present you with glorious crown. Listen, my son. Accept what I say. The I hear is what wisdom say. And the years of your life will be many. The years of your life will be many. Proverbs chapter 3. From verse 13. Shall we read together? Blessed are those who find those who gain understanding. For she is more profitable than silver. And yields better returns and gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare to her. See, when you see wisdom coming, 
The Bible says a long life is in his right hand. And in his left hand are riches and honor. In the right hand of wisdom is long life. In his left hands are riches and honor. Some people are rich, but they are not honorable because of how they gain their wealth. But wisdom will bring you riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways. And all her paths are peace. word subscribe to our social media handles for life transforming messages